Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. There's a mouse on the screen. We're going to feature some blocking damage. Ah, the joys of driving a heavy tank. When armor works. That's kind of the, the thrill that we get when we play these super heavies. When we can play them and we can actually make their role in the game work. And Punisher Crow from the YLF. Shout out to you, clan. He's gonna show us the mouse. On cliff, he gets to fight. This is one of those situations where you get to fight tier eights and tier nines. There's only three tier tens on each side. Absolutely perfect matchup for the mouse. You know when you roll out in your mouse, or type five heavy for that matter, and it's a full tier 10 game, and you notice that a lot of the tier 10s are uh, medium tanks that have 340 pen heat as their premium ammo. Gets a little tiring. And you got to really work hard to try and bounce shots. You're not bouncing anything by accident when they're slinging 340 pen heat at you. But this is an example of when it works. When armor works, if you can ever get to the battle. One of the things about doing commentary on a mouse game or a Type 5 heavy game is that you, you there's a lot of time you have to fill in because it takes the tank forever to get to where it's going. Is he going to just barge around this corner? Or is he, oh, he got here. He side scrapes, he bounces a shot, and he takes a shot. He's detected through this bush. It doesn't matter. There's a mouse shit right over there that is a, a, a hopeless excuse for a mouse at tier 9. And now he's just going to keep shooting people that are going to sit in front of his gun. And he's angled. After he shoots, he angles. And he's bouncing. How much damage is he going to bounce, guys? Let's watch and find out. He's doing it perfectly. Boop! He takes another shot. He bounces another shot. Hey, that's a fair trade. That's what you want to do in a mouse. You want to take a shot? Bounce a shot. Take a shot? Bounce a shot. And you notice, he only turns his turret to shoot when he's ready. Yeah, it's a blind shot, maybe, and then he angles. He angles so that when they're shooting him, they're hitting an angle. Then he turns. Hey, he turned a little bit too early there. You want to wait? Boop! Take your shot. Turn it. Very simple. It's very simple gameplay. Uh, now, if he was in a tier 10 game, <laughs> would the 340 heat be penning him now? Maybe. Boop! Oh! He didn't. Now he's got to angle really well for this guy. And he he bounced the mouse shit. Oh, this, is, this is beautiful to watch, guys. This is a textbook amazing side scrape. This is what you dream of when you roll out in your mouse. And you can actually angle a little bit more there. But he's doing, he's doing perfect. He's doing perfect. They're going to have trouble penning him. And he's got to aim his shot at... <sighs> Bloop, it went low. And, oh, they're starting to shoot HE at him. Oh, one guy penned him. Who penned him? The SU-130PM slung heat at him. You notice that? The SU-130PM penned him for 465. Look above my head right there. That's the, um, the list. I put the damage done to you up above my head there. And the damage he did just below there. So you can tell the two. That's how I like to show him on the screen. Rather than have it all below because you have to like sort through them and you don't know what's going on you can quickly when you're even playing the game you can glance up and see who's shooting you and what ammunition they're using uh the vk just shot he at him he did 53 damage he did 63 damage before so let's see he has 200 2719 uh let's just do it here guys uh uh 2719 divided by uh, uh 2719 divided by 63 equals uh, he only has to shoot him 73 more times so this guy's got to be careful now because if that VK shoots him 73 more times uh, he'll be killed so <clears throat> it's kind of, that, this is the type of math you have to do when you're playing your mouse right through the front of the turret because that guy did not angle his turret and it is a mouse shit bounces the SMV this guy's playing it perfectly guys and now turns, uh, he's not there. Turn it back before they shoot. Oh, see, in front of it. 
They're shooting the front of your turret. And he might as well take the shot there. It is a little bit of an art playing these German behemoths, right? Because your weak spot is your front. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That's the way it is. You could probably go around the corner there and shoot the mouse shit and angle your turret this way while you're shooting them and no one will be able to pin you. That's, uh, that's what you could do. Ah, uh, yeah, right there. Boom. <laughs> the mouse shit is showing us how not to play one of these shoebox-shaped tanks. And the mouse is showing how to play. Snap! Oh, he did not pen. Can he, like, reverse side scrape up there and shoot that mouse shit? Or will he be showing too much angle for these guys? I think he could do it, but he doesn't care. I think he could. Just angle like this. Yeah, he's there. there you go. Now back up a bit. They're not going to pen you at that angle, buddy. Yeah, I don't, but he will show his lower plate, but if he puts himself on an angle, I don't think they can. Oh, well, he's doing a per- what? Who am I? Uh, the, the reason I say that is because now he's permalit by this mouse shit. So it means everyone's pre-aimed at him. And they know exactly where he is, and they know exactly when he took- See? That guy was pre-aimed. They know exactly where he is. He's detected because he's permalit. So they can pre-aim and time their shots for when he turns his turret. So... An option is, boop. <laughs> an option is to back out here and try and kill that mouse shit, or come around the corner, angle to those guys and kill the mouse shit. But hey, hey, this is working. He's bounced thirteen thousand eight hundred and sixty, and he's got the uh, boop. Oh, you see what he's doing there? He is. Um, for those of you who don't know, he's pushing the right mouse button down to lock his turret angled. Then he's putting the central marker on the tank he wants to shoot. When he's loaded, he lets go of the right mouse button and the turret slowly moves. And as soon as it gets there, boom, he shoots. So he's minimizing the amount of time. See, he's, he's gonna do it again. He's minimizing the amount of time his turret is pointed at the enemies. So they can't pin him through his big weak spot, which is the front of his turret right, uh, right here. Boom, he takes another blind shot. Bounces another shot. He's up to 60. Oh, and the mouse shit has arrived. The mouse shit is uh, doing a mouse shit flanking maneuver, which is not going to work out well for you, buddy. Because now... The, the mouse shit was tired of playing the game. <laughs> That's funny. Way to go, mouse shit. And now, can he, can he, can he... Boom. Finally, he did it. He did it. He's up to three kills. He's up to 6,090 damage. He's up to 17,260 damage blocked by armor. Not too shabby. And it's still, there's still one, two, three, four, five. There's five enemies left. Now, does he just roll forward, guys? Does he just roll forward now? If he rolls forward, there's a burrasque up above his left shoulder, which could be a problem. He's got a T-123 with him. How much HP does the T-123 have? About half HP. The Burask has just exploded. Don't sound so surprised, people. Burasks explode every day. And now he moves forward. I would angle the turret a little bit, buddy. Angle the turret a little bit more. Angle that turret! He's ready to shoot, but I would angle that turret! And where's the SMV? Where's the SU-130 PM? There they are. You didn't angle the turret, and you deserve to be penetrated there both times. You deserve to be penetrated those two times. Did you see what just happened there, guys? This guy's having a fantastic game. Shout out to you, buddy, but did you see that? He deserves to be penned those two shots because he was fumbling forward with his turret facing the enemies. And when you play the mouse, or the Type 5 Heavy, or the E100, uh, you just can't do that. You just can't. If you play it like that, you will be so frustrated. Because that's what will happen. And look at the uh, above my head right there. You'll see heat penetrated for 361 by the SMV. And the SU, a regular AP shell, 544. Right through the front of the turret. So there you go. You've learned something. Uh, for those of you who are going down the super heavy lines, uh, mouse, mouse shit, 
E, uh, not E, E100, Type 4 Heavy, those tanks. Angle. When you're driving around, learn to angle your turret as like 30, 45 degrees even. You look stupid. The tank looks stupid. You have to hold down the right mouse button while you're driving. And now he's going to finish the game up. Vihamzi! So he ends up winning the game with over 6,000 damage, almost 7,000 damage, and blocking 17,260. And that's your lesson on how to use the right mouse button. The right, the right mouse button has a purpose, not just the left one. The left one you can shoot, but the right one, you can lock your turret. Now let's keep having fun. Super tank expert from the L4YS clan is in a Type 5 Heavy. He also gets to face Tier 9s and Tier 8s. He's in the perfect situation now to do a little bouncing. How much did the mouse bounce? 17,120? <laughs> How much damage do you think the Type 5 Heavy is going to bounce, guys? Same thing with a Type 5 Heavy, actually. You can angle the body of the tank uh, quite a lot because it has very good side armor. You can angle it, but the, the problem is these things, right? The, the, these things right here. That's the problem with the Type 5 Heavy. It's not just a, a, a shoebox like the E100. Uh, so, but you can angle it more than you think, especially if you're at range when it's hard for them to hit those little flat spots. Yeah, when you're moving back, you know, you're jiggling back and forth and you angle your turret and you angle your tank, there's a little bit of movement, there's lower tier shooting at you, you could be a formidable opponent. Let's just see how much he bounces. Okay. And uh, you see, he's moving in, he's going to just go right in there, probably side scrape that corner. Let's see what he does here, guys. Well, he is the super tank expert. Okay. He's, he's the super tank expert, so he must know. And I think he's going to go right to that corner. Let's see what he has loaded here. He has a 290 pence, 600 HP shell loaded. And he just pulls out and says, hello. <laughs> and does, surprise! Uh, what is that the premium shell? Uh, two, yes, 257 pen on the regular shell. He's gone straight to 290, which is a little bit of a joke for a premium shell to only be 290 pen. But hey, what are you gonna do? That's the way this tank works. And I am shocked. I'm shocked that that actually penetrated the uh, T10. But it did. Oh, that's it's it's not an IS4. It's a T10. So I'm not so shocked. At first there I thought it was an IS-4. And um, yes, you did hear a ding. It was a message. But I'm going to ignore it because I'm doing a video for you. Oh! Boom! Right through. Okay, where did that go through? That was a T-95 APCR. Where's the hole on his tank? Right there. There you go. That spot that I told you about, guys. Almost like the mouse better than this tank, guys. I almost like the, like, as far as bouncing damage. When a mouse is angled perfectly, when a mouse is angled at like 30 degrees, not 45, 30 degrees, when a mouse is angled 30 degrees, I don't think, including the turret, I don't think there's a tank in the game that can, um, uh, penetrate it like uh, there might be some circumstances when uh, a you know, very very high roll uh, on penetration but it's just a hard it, it's almost impossible to to pen a tank uh, to pen the mouse when it's angled whereas this type 5 heavy has just been penned again by the 53 no by the uh, by the t95 725 ay 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 that hurts and uh, it's you know, there's a uh, the hole's gone. There was a hole there, and now there's a hole there. Oh, right through the front. He got penned right through the front there by a premium shot from the uh, T95 when his turret was facing him. It's tough. It's a, this is this is more like the experience in a heavy tank. But he's undaunted and undeterred. He goes around the corner to face this guy. And he's gonna make him pay. And now he bounced. 
Because he turned his turret to shoot this guy, he accidentally bounced the T-95 who was probably trying to shoot the front of his turret. Now, guys, he has bounced 9,610 damage. So that is good. That is good. And he's bounced some more. <laughs> but it, it's still frustrating that he got penned at all. I, I, I guess you can't be completely invincible. You can't be completely invincible. And he bounced another another 700 feet. Oh, he bounced the scorpion who was going for his cupola. Scorpion could have went right through the front of him because he wasn't angled. And now the scorpion is ready to take one for the team. But the oh, he backed up. Well done. Now there's still a T95 down there, buddy. Be careful. He's angled for the T95 now. And no, oh, an object 279E. And the scorpion penned him. He wants to take out the scorpion. Don't waste the shot on the scorpion. He's got to kill the 279E. He, you are in a predicament here, buddy. I would back up. Back up. Back up. You've got a T95. And a scorpion. And he, he, he bounced the T95 by accident. And now snap the scorpion. Snap the scorpion. Snap that scorpion. And he did. He's bounced 14,590. He's bounced the Kranwagen. The T95 is reloading. I, oh, oh. And his teammates helped. And now the T95 is aiming, 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 aiming. He shoots the T95. The T95 bounces. Holy shit. He's he's accidentally bouncing shots here, guys. Or these enemies are shooting him. And they're not hitting bullseyes because they're at range. So they're not hitting exactly what they're aiming at. And so far he's... And he bounced him again! Oh, that T95 is probably cursing this game. But T95, you'll notice he switched to AP. <laughs> you penned him with APCR, T95. But now you got less pen. Maybe he's ran out. He's bound 16,530, guys. Ah, when armor works. <laughs> when armor works. Especially at range. When you're at range uh, and they're trying to shoot you, if there's a little deep deviation, they don't pen you because they're trying to hit a flat spot and if the shot doesn't go exactly where they're aiming then they you know then they bounce okay he's gonna face the t90 he's, this guy's just going in i like him i like him guys he's going and there's the t95 the t95 has he said screw it he's left he said i'm not playing anymore <laughs> the t95 bounced three four five shots in a row and he said this game. And he ends up with a victory here, guys, with over 6,000 damage done and 16,530 damage blocked. So I guess the mouse is still the king. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave some comments, subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow, and I will catch you guys on the next one.